Well, I'm here with Ron Johnson. Ron is the owner and operator of www.taleofthedragon.com, and this is the probably one of the biggest reasons that this area is so heavily populated with motorcycles. Ron, uh, you've been doing this for years. You're a big part of why this event is happening. So tell us a little bit about what we're doing today. Well, this is the first annual Smoky Mountain Bike Week at Montana Village here in Graham County, North Carolina. The area's become so popular with motorcycles in the last three or four years that the um, various resorts are trying to attract more motorcycles and provide uh, fun for them to do things, uh, live bands, uh, rides, poker runs, uh, something for all kind of bikers. And we're really glad to see this uh, taking place this year. And it's going to be an annual event, and it's only going to grow. Now, Ron, you've been promoting, I mean, basically this area of Western North Carolina for many years at Tale of the Dragon. I mean, tell me, what are some of the things that you've been doing here to encourage, you know, motorcycle riders from all over the world to find us here? You really don't have to do much except tell them that we got the best roads in the world here. Um, not only uh, paved roads, but we have great dual sport roads, we've got dirt biking, uh, we've got just about any kind of road that a motorcyclist would be interested in here in Graham County and the uh, general area of the Great Smoky Mountains. Tell us a little bit about the Dragon, I mean I know that's your favorite, world famous, 318 turns, 11 miles, I mean this is one of the most challenging pieces of road in the world, uh, from, you, from your perspective. Well Nancy and I have uh, learned just to love the road, uh, we started riding on it with motorcycles in about five years ago. And we've spent the last five years searching for better roads all across America, and nothing's even come close. The uh, beauty of the road is it's um, 11 miles, and there's no um, residences, no driveways, no crossroads. It's just pure road, and every curve is different, and just about everybody that comes really falls in love with the road. Tell me about some of the people you meet for the road. I mean, all over the world. I mean, there's... Um, last year we met a guy that came over here to, to tour the United States from England, uh, we've seen people here from Germany, from Thailand, from just all over the world come to ride a road. I mean, one of the great things about riding in this area, I mean, we have the Cherahela Skyway, we've got US-28, I mean, very lightly trafficked roads, few commercial vehicles, I mean, not very many residences. I mean, there's, there's just a, such a huge choice, the Cherahela. Yeah, the Cherahela is a great road. A lot of people like it, uh, especially the touring bikes, more than the uh, Dragon because it's not quite as tight. A lot of sweeping turns, beautiful scenery, um, no traffic at all, and it's, uh, you know, you can buy a, a lunch and take it up there in, from uh, Robbinsville and spend the day up there picnicking and sightseeing and riding the road back and forth. And uh, 28 is a beautiful one. They're calling it now the, he the Hellbender. Uh, Fontana Village is right in the middle of it. And if you stay here, you can uh, ride the road in both directions, do the Dragon, do the Cherahala Loop, and, uh, and also do 28 over to Franklin. and. You know, every one of the roads is a little bit different, but they're all challenging. 